Western Kentucky trying to do something that no other 12 seed has ever done before. Beat the one in the Sweet 16. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the NCAA Tournament Previews presented by Brother Printers and All in Ones. And of course, it is the 12 Western Kentucky against the one UCLA in the Western Regional. Take a look at this, folks. The last five times a 12 has met a one in the Sweet 16. Well, you see the outcome. Nobody's won. The closest has been an 11-point victory, Oklahoma over Butler, 65-54 in 2003. There have been 13 games that a 1 has played a 12 in the Sweet 16, and of course, no wins for the 12. Ball State, the closest in 1990, losing by 2 to UNLV. As we bring in Steve Lapis from CBS College Sports Network to break this one down. Steve, when you look at Western Kentucky, what do they have to do to make it close? Maybe win. Wow, they're really up against it in this game. Let me just say that. Now, their backcourt has played very well. Courtney Lee is a first-round draft pick. Tyrone Braselton had 33 points in the first game of the tournament. But the guy they really need to step up in this case is Jeremy Evans. He wasn't a great scorer during the course of the year, but he was the MVP of the Sun Belt Tournament. And they're going to need somebody inside to step up to go out there and rebound against Kevin Love and this very strong, physical UCLA team. Well, that's what they certainly would want to have going into the tournament. But when you look at Kevin Love, or of course going into the game, I mean, but when you look at Kevin Love and what he did against Texas A&M, who does have guys in the middle, and what Kevin Love has done against everybody else in the nation, how do they do that, Steve? Boy, that's a good question because those two shots that Kevin Love made, those two fadeaways, one in the middle of the lane and one on the left block, were two of the most unbelievable shots I've seen a 6'10 center make. To be able to make that fadeaway shot under those conditions in a clutch situation, this kid is an unbelievable college player. So this Western Kentucky team, probably of everybody in the Sweet 16, I think is most up against it because you know UCLA is going to do a great job defensively. It's going to be very hard for Courtney Lee to get things going. He had 29 in the last game. I think he's going to be hard-pressed to get those numbers in this game. What they have to do more than anything else is they have to try and box out as best they can, keep these guys off the glass, and really move the ball on offense. UCLA is such a great help defensive team. If you don't get that ball reversed from side to side and you allow them to stand in the lane and give help, you'll never get a good shot. So moving the ball from side to side and getting ball reversals is going to be a big key for Western Kentucky in this game. Well, we'll see if that happens. The other part for UCLA, Steve, in this game is, you know, people are talking about how they're vulnerable. Maybe they like Western Kentucky in the upset. The last time UCLA won a national title in 1995, same round, the second round that they needed Tyus Eddy to go coast to coast. They had Darren Collison hit the game-winning shot again. Maybe that helps them in this game. The team that wins the title always wins at least one game they probably had no business winning. And I wouldn't even put this game against Texas A&M as they had the Tyus Eddy game they had no business winning. The Texas A&M game, they slowly and methodically came back. Yeah, they were down in the second half 10 points, but they slowly and methodically, which is what they do, came back. So these guys don't get phased. Instead of looking at it as a negative, what happened against Texas A&M, I look at it as a positive where this team has tremendous poise, this team always knows what it has to do, and this team always seems to get it done. Steve, a lot of people uh, say that UCLA will blow out Western Kentucky in this game in Phoenix. Do you see it the same way? I think there's the potential for definitely a more than 15-point game because that you talk about, you combine their offense, how is Western Kentucky going to deal with Kevin Love, and how about Darren Collison, who at the end of that game really took it over, and then on the other hand, how is Western Kentucky going to score enough because of the great defense of UCLA? All right, well, we'll see how that all plays out, and Darren Collison, of course, off his 21-point performance uh, against Texas A&M and the game-winning shot against the Aggies as well. Steve Lapis, CBS College Sports Network, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The game begins on CBS a half hour after the conclusion of West Virginia and Xavier from Phoenix. And, of course, for more on this game or any other in the regional semis, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or the CBS College Sports Network leading up to the game. Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.